The reason I'm talking to you today is because I'm keen to impress upon everybody who lives in the Ludlow constituency the importance of this election. I was lucky enough to be elected in 2005 for the first time and I've worked as hard as I can to help represent the people of the Ludlow constituency to try to help make their lives better and I, I think there's a lot more work I can do in that area. We've had some good successes in keeping our community hospitals open. You'll remember that back in 2006 all three of our community hospitals were threatened with closure and I with many others helped lead marches through these towns to keep our hospitals open and we've succeeded in that. In fact they're all now uh, undergoing some kind of refurbishment. Uh, both Bridge North is finished, Bishop's Castle is underway and Ludlow we hope is coming soon. And that's just one example of some of the things that I hope I can continue to do practically to help the people of the Ludlow constituency. We've had a very difficult year in Parliament with the expenses row. There's no question that people feel fed up with politicians and we've got to change that. We've got to bring trust back into politics. I was one of the very few politicians who didn't claim a penny under the second homes allowance which is the one that caused so much difficulty and I hope to bring some of my experience into government hopefully if the Conservatives were fortunate enough to win the election to help clean up politics in Britain. The country is crying out for new decisive leadership. We've had an unelected Prime Minister unable to make decisions for the last two years. What we need is strong, decisive leadership from a united, not a divided party. And that's what David Cameron brings. He's intelligent, he's quick on his feet, he's made some very clear choices about how to change the Conservative Party and wants to change the country. I think he will be an excellent Prime Minister if you give him the opportunity to do so. And I hope with your support to be elected once more to serve the people of Ludlow when the general election comes.